B-Man there, B-Man Golf TTI. Today's show is with an old, old friend that comes into town from time to time. He happens to be the brother-in-law of one of my best buddies, John. This is John's brother-in-law, Michael. Oh, wow. He's tall, he's slender, and he can hit it, okay? That's all I'm going to tell you. He's a great golfer. He's a great friend. I want to welcome him into the show. Um, we waited a long time for this interview, and we finally cornered him. We finally got him, and I think we promised him a beer to do it, so he's drinking happy. Yeah, yeah, I think. Michael's a, a good, uh, good person to play with. He's always keeping up and out driving you, so he embarrasses you no matter what. But he's a great, great character. We love him. I want you to meet Michael, John's brother-in-law, Johnny P. Without further ado, here's the man. Good afternoon, golf fans. It is I, B-Man, B-Man Golf TTI, out on the patio. Sitting with a long range golfer today, all the way from South Carolina. Michael, good morning. How are you? Morning, B. How's everything? It is great, my man. He is the brother in law, if you remember from an earlier show, of John Principe. Yeah, Michael's his brother in law. So we're not going to treat him any different than any other guest that we've had on the program. So, Michael, here's your first question How old was Mike? when he first started playing golf? Gee, let me think, that was a long time ago. I think I was about 25 when I first picked up my clubs. And how did you learn? Well, I learned that we were on vacation with my brother-in-law and they decided to go out and play golf and I said, I'm not gonna play this silly game, but they convinced me to ride along with them and I started swinging a golf club and I think I played the last nine holes and then I was hooked. So yeah. I home, bought me a set of clubs, Started reading all them instructional books and trying to learn the game. It's been doing that since night since I was 25 years old. My, Still haven't learned it. My word. Well, who will ever learn it? You know. Absolutely. Golf is a game you just can't beat. You just play. But you know, it's interesting you say that because you know a lot of sports you can play baseball, football, but golf. You don't choose golf. Golf chooses you. So if you started at 25, it's got a hold on you, my man. <laughs> so now. Why do you still play this goofy game, Mike? Well, you know, there's always that challenge. The next time you go out, you're going to do a little bit better. You're going to maybe learn something that you didn't know the last round and make that critical putt or hit that green when you have to hit it. It's always a challenge. Always a challenge. Um, here comes a silly question. What has golf meant to you all these years? Golf's meant to me a way to get out with your friends and enjoy yourself, get some exercise, a little competition, but you know, at our level it never gets too serious. Maybe a cold beer or a dollar here and there, but probably the camaraderie and uh, friendship and meeting new different people. We always meet nice people on the golf course, and that's part of what I enjoy about it. My goodness. Now, Michael, if you had to give a, say, beginner or intermediate type golfer a tip, what tip would Mike give? The tip that I would give is see a professional and learn to do it the right way because if you learn by yourself, you're going to pick up bad habits and you're just going to keep those bad habits up. The pro is going to show you the right way to do it. Do it, practice it. I think you'll enjoy it a lot more. Thank you, Michael. That is a great tip. I haven't heard that one yet. We appreciate your time this morning. We know you're going to play. Have a great round. And it is so good to see you, my friend. You too, B. Take care. You. Well, there you go. And I told you he was interesting, didn't I? Oh, yeah. He's a, quite the character. Quite the character. Love to play golf with him. I'm glad he's, he's in town, South Carolina, and now he had a, bit, uh, a little bit of time for us to play out at the country club. So it was really good. Really, really fun to be out there for 18 holes with Mike. Um, he's quite an interesting fellow, as you will see. And uh, listen to his answer about giving a tip to a beginner or an intermediate player. All right, let me know what you think. 
Don't forget comments down below. I know you do, but uh, you know it doesn't hurt to keep doing them. <laughs> but remember, a B man will always tell you, put them like you on them, and rock the baby. Don't you forget it.